Hmm, my lip is twitching a little bit, kind of weird. Um, I've been up since 4 a.m. and I've made a few takes on this video, but haven't been able to seem to get it quite right yet. Um, maybe I was a little bit too doomsday about my last video. You know, a lot of these things that I mentioned could even happen, but it may not result in the stock market getting all messed up. It may not result in uh, terrible things happening to society. It may result in us going, oh shit, and sort of kicking us in the ass and making us realize we need to make some changes. Maybe these things will be the very things that allow us to uh, to become more uh, innovative, to have more of the creative flow again. You know, these might be the very things that we need in order to achieve this. Um, maybe the Facebook Google Plus type of model of social networking might take a dump. Because, I mean, there's been a lot of videos out there showing how this type of social networking hasn't really done us that much good. It, it had some good potential, but the actuality and, and how it, it got implemented is and ends up being more like high school cliques. It's the high school mentality. This happens quite a bit even on YouTube, you know? Uh, just social networking in general. Online social networking. Uh, may not be that healthy for us. Maybe when, uh, you know, we start to see how homophobic and racist uh, a lot of our culture still is. That might be the catalyst that allows for change. Um, something I think I was wrong about in, in the last video is suggesting that uh, the police brutality has gotten so much worse. No, I don't think it's actually gotten worse. I just think we're able to see it more because of technology. So, You know, there may be some positive things that come out of some of this stuff, even if a lot of this stuff ends up happening. Um, even our world policies that are that are that the U.S. government has. Uh, you know, if some bad things come out of that, that might kick us in the butt to realize, oh, I guess we need to take a different approach. Um, so if I go into Microsoft and Google, you know, maybe Microsoft might change their tune when they see how many people don't like what they're seeing in Windows 10, especially the, the updates thing. Maybe it'll be just like Xbox One, where originally Microsoft was going to try to shove forth that, you, that your console has to be connected online all the time. And then they they took that back and, and, and changed their tune. Maybe they'll do that with Windows 10. Maybe it won't have to be Windows 10.1. Um, you know, maybe Google, in their losing their original vision, uh, maybe they'll actually start focusing on quality control on their products again. Maybe they'll, they'll, make, they'll start improving their apps again, making them actually work decently again. Maybe they'll get voice to text working right again. Maybe they'll get their search engine working right again and actually focus on the things that made them as uh, successful as they, they, they were. Um, you know, maybe they'll actually work on their shit. Uh, you know, maybe Maybe 2016 could be a massive year of change. We might see some really negative things at first that may turn into really positive things. You know, there's, there's different takes on this, I guess.
And I want to thank a number of the commenters on my last video for, for pointing out some of these other possibilities. Um, you got me to think a little bit more, and uh, that's a good thing. And uh, thank you. Um, you know, I'm just crossing my fingers that this next year will be halfway decent, at least eventually. We'll just have to see, right?